Welcome to week 10 of the Cinema Cocktail Club. That's right, it's our 10th edition. And what better way to celebrate than by making the Vespa Martini from James Bond's Casino Royale. And it's a really simple drink to make with only four ingredients. They are gin. And Sinead's bought me the world's cheapest, smallest bottle. Then we've got vodka. We've got Russian standard. Next, we've got white vermouth and I've bought us the cheapest, biggest bottle. And finally, you're gonna need a lemon. Lockdown is starting to ease and life is beginning to change a little bit. So we are changing things up here too. No more are we gonna be using a jar to mix our cocktails. Instead, we're moving on to an actual shaker. Now, you can pick these up for about 10 pounds online, so it's really not a big deal, but it does make a big difference to your drink. So let's get started. To start our drink, we need to do something we've done for every other drink, and that's chill our glass. Now, I have said it before, and I will say it again. There is nothing worse than a cold cocktail in a warm glass. In goes the ice, mixed around, and it waits. Now, first ingredient is 75 ml of our gin. Now, in our case, that's about half of this very small bottle that Sinead's got us. I'm only kidding, of course. It's one and a half of our shot glasses. Next, we need 25 ml of vodka, and that's half our shot glass. Our final ingredient is 15 ml of vermouth, and that's just a tiny drop at the bottom. In she goes. Now, I've already put quite a bit of ice in here. You will need a fair amount. The lid goes on, and we shake. Again, it's about a good hard shake to really get everything mixed up. And we want plenty of ice so we don't get too much dilution from it all getting smashed to bits. When you get to the point where the shake is too cold to hold, you're there, and we are definitely there. So, let's take the ice out of our glass that's nice and chilled. And now we need to what they call double strain. So there's a strainer at the top of our cocktail shaker and we have our sieve. All we need now is a little lemon zest. Just pinch over the top twist and dip. And there you have it, the Vespa Martini from Casino Royale. As always, there is only one thing left to do, and that is to get the verdict of our resident cocktail queen, Sinead Beverland. Come on in, Sinead. You are? I am Ernst Stavo Blofeld. Your ears have fallen off, Mr. Blofeld. Yours will not last long with this attitude, but if you may me. So, we have got the Vespa Martini here. Um, let's see what your verdict is. Mm. I hope it is shaken and not stirred. Of course. Most refreshing. I can see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that cat. <laughs> so, what's your score? Mm. It's very strong. Mm. 
I will give this a solid four crowns. Oh, there we have it, four crowns. Uh, that's pretty good. I have to say, this is a very refreshing drink. It's a bit strong though, but you could probably tell that by the fact that I put nothing but alcohol in it. Um, thanks very much, Sinead, we appreciate that. I suppose you expect it's me... Stavro Bluffer. <laughs> Because you expect me to wrap up now. Um, no, Mr. Brian, I expect you to die. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>